And we're back for more fun. Here we are, Friday, June the 3rd, uh, 2022, live from Berlin, Germany. Welcome, everybody. It's your buddy, Uncle Bruce, um, trying to compete with the uh, drill bit going on just above us here. Um, we were just saying, Jen and I, that uh, he took a five-minute break, uh, which ended about two minutes ago. And uh, he's back. Uh, there you go. So I don't know how long this is going to go on for, uh, but we're dealing with it. Sorry about the uh, jackhammer noise in the background. Tiff, thumbs up number four. Lame duck number six. Thank you guys for these thumbs ups right off the bat for this show. Alberto, good morning. Uh, Bagel Familia. I thought this was the uh, early gold member show. I need some sleep. Good luck, good luck to all. <laughs> Duncan is here. Alberto, what is new? Alberto, nothing much. Let's hope we all make some moolah today. Uh, is it time to stinky it up is the question from Duncan. Doubting philosopher is thumbs up 11. Mark Cherry is thumbs up 12. Alberto says he is number seven today. Aurora, good morning, everybody. Uh, LL number 15. Odin's Pumpkin number 17. Olivia saying good morning to everybody. Jason Laws, it's time for the Muppet Show. Um, Chase, uh, number 22 thumbs ups. Alex, good morning, everybody. GameStop, let's go, baby. Uh, we're thumbs up number 24. Welcome, guys to the show this morning uh, we're down 147 on the um, on the dow jones indicating at the moment negative we've got uh, a 28 point drop on s p and nasdaq down 148 uh we're waiting for jobs report indicators uh, apparently uh, job gains lowered to 398,000 from 428,000 for march april job gains raised to 436 from 428 Eight. Um, looking for any and all news regarding the uh, the uh, job market thingy. Um, here we go. Uh, hold on a second. I'll try to get this to work. Let's see if I can make it work. The U.S. unemployment rate unchanged in May at three point six percent. The U.S. economy added three hundred ninety thousand jobs in May above forecast. Uh, very good. Um, and, uh, we're looking at the Dow now down 160. Uh, it had been at, um, it's, it's improved by about 15 points since this uh, announcement came out on the uh, jobs front. So early indicators are a little bit of positive news here for the uh, markets. Um, the job market was not as negative as feared. Uh, so that's a good sign. Um, um, uh, very good sign, actually. There's there's just a lot of competing um, uh, viewpoints going on right now about whether or not the U.S. economy might be headed for some sort of a recession pullback, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't believe that is likely. I don't think that is very likely. The reason I don't think it's likely is because uh, demand for employee employees is very high over many sectors. It's not like uh, just the fast food industry is looking for workers. That's not the issue. The issue is that uh, specialized employees are in high demand, um, more so now than ever before. And um, I, I get the impression that uh, this is not going to end anytime soon. It is not going to go away, even if there's a thinking that there might be a bit of a slowdown coming, that that will not stop specialized jobs from disappearing either. These specialized jobs will pay very handsomely, um, continue to pay very handsomely, will stay ahead of inflation or at least with it. And so anyone in these desired professions will not be um, economically weaker going forward forward at all. Um, those who are in these professions right now have probably noticed retention bonuses or um, work work style adjustments to make it more palatable to not go anywhere. A lot of folks who are specialized in their fields are finding it easy as it can be to get employed or to cut a deal with an employer that um, is much more attractive now than before, like holiday time, personal time, flex hours, work from home, flex work from home and from work, a lot of stuff like that. Um, 
And as long as that's the case, as long as that is going to happen, it makes a recession in North America very unlikely. Uh, we, we do happen to have, we are blessed in North America, Canada, USA in particular, but some somewhat Mexico, there are a high number of skilled employees out there. Um, and we are in, uh, these folks are in their 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s and so on. And they are never going to get laid off by an employer. Um, it's really unlikely that that'll happen. And even in a, in a fluke environment where there might be uh, some, some, uh, some layoffs, uh, folks like that can instantly get hired very quickly elsewhere from multiple sources, multiple employers. The other thing that's happened too is, um, and I don't think the current job measuring um, tools are in place to cover this, is that in the old days, uh, certainly 20 years ago and before, but I'm going to say even in the last five years, things have shifted so much, especially with, pan with the pandemic. It is now not unusual anymore to um, where you might know someone, either it's yourself or someone you know, that um, is working for an employer that is hundreds of miles away from where the employee lives in some cases, thousands of miles, in a number of cases, not even in the same country. So there are people gainfully employed from their homes, working for companies, not in their countries at all. It is, it is now that, that is now a common thing and it's going to get even more common. Headhunters out there used to only search for talented people in their hometown their home city or the region in which they live for talent to replace someone who has moved on or a new position that's been created. Now headhunters have got to become creative in being able to find employees from anywhere in the world to fill positions, especially the kinds of jobs that can be done remotely. And uh, more and more jobs are being offered on a remote type basis. Despite what you are hearing from Elon Musk, trying to tell his office workers they all have to come back to uh, Tesla's offices or find a job somewhere else. I have a feeling that a number of those folks are already looking for a job somewhere else because Elon has opened his playbook to them to say, um, we want to go back to the way it was and we want you in the shop, um, you know, full time in the, in the, in the office. And there are folks out there going, there's no damn way I'm going to do that, Elon. I don't care how rich you are, how successful you are. You're not making me into a billionaire. Uh, I can get a job paying just as much as you offer, if not more than you offer, with probably even better perks. Because if Elon is only offering his employees the opportunity to return to the pit where they had come from, where... And these folks can go elsewhere to another corporation, work from home where they'd rather be working. They're going to take option number two. They're going to take door number two. They're not going back to Elon Musk. And so the Elon Musks of the world are going to get the dregs of employees that can't get hired by anybody else. And those who can get jobs at multiple organizations are going to shop themselves around for the best deal. And they're going to get top dollar, top benefits, and top lifestyle enjoyment for their jobs and uh, that's bad news for Tesla and companies like Tesla that are thinking the Tesla way. These firms are, are going to have a tough time um, attracting top-notch talent because they're not uh, they're not offering what people want offered to them. Interesting stuff. We'll, uh, we'll watch and see all of this obviously. Um, this world has changed immeasurably and it continues to, to do so. Michael Downs is here, and he's number 33 on the thumbs-up scale. Duncan is number 8 and number 10 today because he's got two devices lit up. Alex, you're going to need all your patience today, Bruce. Uh, those builders are making more racket than my kids. Right now, it's quiet. But for how long? I don't know. Michael uh, Kramer says, nowhere to go but up. We're screwed. Um uh, Scully, Netflix, and Tesla have started layoffs, though. And there is the other thing, isn't it? He is talk to Elon talks about you got to come back to the office, but oh, by the way, we're going to do a 10% layoff 
um, and we're going to do a hiring freeze because we think the economy is in trouble. I'll tell you right now, if, if I'm an employee, if I'm a prospective employee, I do not want to work for a guy that has a thought in his mind that the economy is going backwards, everything's retracing, and I got to go back into the office like a dinosaur from the in the, in the 2019 era. I'm not going to work for a guy like that. I don't want to be with him. I don't want to be near him. I don't want to be associated with companies that deal with this guy because of the parts connections. So I think what I'll do is I'll look for a gig that is not related to Tesla in any way, shape, or form and where the employee is being uh, sought after as opposed to being addressed as kind of a pain in the rear end. And I, I think that's the way people are going to go, and Elon's going to find it tough to find employees, despite the fact he only needs 90% of them, I guess. Scully, I know it's only two companies, but they're large companies that the economy tends to follow. Uh, Splare, uh, 49 thumbs up here. JJ, 47 thumbs ups. Good morning, everybody. Vernon. Good morning from Vernon Edwards. How you doing, buddy? Uh, sell my house fast in Upper Marlboro, number 63. Good morning. Thank you. Odin's Pumpkin. With COVID, you think businesses need more people to catch up on orders and the like? Yeah, you got it. Um, and then Adventure with Duncan. Numbers are not going to be all good on Tesla right now in the UK. Adventure with Duncan or China. And that's the thing. I think that Tesla's numbers are going to be um, uh, light. They're going to be short, certainly on deliveries, dollars. Uh, yep, the... Question is, does Elon think that the economy is slowing down so much that it's going to affect his auto sales from his key demographic buyers, which would be probably 26, 7, 8-year-olds all the way up to 45-year-olds? Would those folks possibly pull back their orders for Teslas, causing him to wonder about a recession um, that's really going to affect his company. Um, and so he's thinking, well, I'll go with a 10% reduction in the workforce. But if he's going old school on us uh, and is just thinking to himself that employees are nothing but a nuisance and an expense that I have to carry, and I can reduce my overhead by dumping 10% of these guys and make the other 90% work harder, that's his thought process. I I don't think he's going to be all that successful in attracting a lot of eager beavers to work for this guy. I'm just kind of wondering. Hmm. Um, uh, not your daddy, Sofi says, I'm number 80 on the thumbs up meter today. Thank you so much for that. Alberto, I ordered my second Tesla over a year and a half ago. I was just notified that it'll be another six months or longer to get it. Uh, Duncan, Tesla down 40 bucks before the opening. There you go market is telling you what they think of Elon's discussions uh, and chats. Now, part of the Tesla drop is probably related to the uh, Twitter news. Um, a 30-day holding period has come and gone, which means Elon now is obligated to do the deal and buy the company. Tesla shareholders are worried about his attention span towards Twitter versus Tesla. And will he need to sell Tesla stock to buy Twitter? Can you hear my guy? He's at it again. He's back, baby. He's back. Can't stop this. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. In the pre-markets right now, we're down 91 on the Dow, which is improving. Uh, we're down 19 on S&P and 110 on NASDAQ. All three markets are improving right now. Um, on the Tesla stock, we are down forty dollars a share to seven thirty-four. On oh Twitter, we're up sixty-one cents to forty fifty-two. So Twitter is reflecting the news that the deal looks like it's going ahead. Tesla is also reflecting the news that the deal might be going ahead. So one down, one up right now. What else is happening? Um, I heard or read something about uh, I read something about a company called Coinbase. They went public a year and a bit ago. Great fanfare, IPO, everything else. The stock trick traded at a ridiculous price early in the uh, early in its listing days. 
Uh, Coinbase uh, is trading right now at 73.82 a share as of last night's close. In the last year, the high was $368. So uh, yuck is the word I'm looking for. Is that is that the official term? I think it is. I think that's how you say it. I think you call it yuck. I know that when the company came out originally, they were 342, um, and uh, they they got the 368, and um, they're now at 73 dollars. Anyway, the word out of Coinbase this morning, something about the fact that um, they are uh, cutting back on their number of employees and that they are rescinding job offers to people they've offered jobs to. They are really cutting back and uh this is despite the company coinbase saying all is well everything's great oh we're just doing fantastic moving all kinds of currency around all the crypto and everything's fantastic now they're cutting staff and they're they're letting go uh they're they're not even bringing people in that they've already committed to hiring not good um withdrawing job offers hiring freeze uh yeah that's not that. That's not good. No, no that's not good. Uh, that's an indicator. Uh, well, Ken, again, is that an indicator of a slowing economy, or is that an indicator of a slowing sector of business called crypto trading? Is that what that is reflecting? Um, could it have been that the Coinbase people and the others in that industry were expecting growth curves much higher than they're getting? Figuring that by now and in future years, they would be much, 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 much larger. And they were hiring for that future only to find out, oh, gosh, uh, we've overdone it. We've overcooked it um, with the economy uh, maybe slowing up a little bit, higher interest rates, higher inflation. We're done for for now. Maybe we should just, you know, put a break to everything and wait it out. That could be what it is. We'll see what uh, what it said. Okay ah uh, let's go let's go um uh, what else alberto uh, michael i might cancel the deal uh i have the model y and i love it but i'm waiting another potential year screw that i don't know if i want to wait that long um alberto you only got 100 bucks in that thing uh jason i have a feeling people are starting to get tired of elon musk and his antics um and uh, let's see, um, Elon's become a character of, its, of himself, and Alberto kind of agrees. Well, you know, it's uh, one of those things. Um, uh, the, the vehicles have been in great demand. What I've noticed is whenever the U.S. government improves tax breaks to buy Teslas, say you get a $5,000 refund if you buy this car or so on, what I notice is right away, within days, Tesla raises their prices by five thousand dollars, and so you, the you, the end user, get no benefit from any government tax breaks. The company Tesla steals them by just raising the retail price by the amount of the tax break you're going to get, so that your cost is the same. They get the extra money. Uh, hardly effective. It's not uh, not effective for improving vehicle sales but then when your tesla and every vehicle you've you're building is pre-sold you have no worries about parking lots full of cars that need to be discounted out there you go how's that sounding to you crazy um, Duncan saying he did send a lot of Starlink internet to the uh, to Ukraine. He did. Uh, it's not all bad, but it is what it is. The Dow now down 191, uh, S and P down 35, Nasdaq down 176, with crude up 32 cents a barrel. We are um, 40 some odd minutes away, 50 minutes away from the opening, and uh, we're just uh, waiting for things to kind of you know get started. Um, what can I say? Uh, it is what it is. It be what it be. And we are what we are in this crazy market of ours. Um, just going to see what uh, what we what we got going. Um, okay. Um, 
can't get my biggest iPad to behave these days. It's just acting up. I'm telling you, it's acting up. Um, double check over here to do this, to do that. And we'll see if we can make anything work for us. My goodness. Um, there we go. Yeah, down 192 on the Dow right now. 35 on S&P, 169 on NASDAQ as we speak. U.S. stock futures are down after stronger than forecast payrolls data with possible Tesla job cut worries also weighing on the market. There you go. And our friend is just going to town upstairs. What can I say? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, you know, just if I could just tell the jackhammer guy, he could become self-employed. He, he might quit his job on the spot and just go home and write options and not even work anymore. Wasn't he, uh, wasn't it, What wasn't it he compensated by the U.S. government for sending Starlink to the Ukraine? I don't know. Jobs reports is in. Upside surprise in the job report with 390,000 versus 318,000 expected. An upward revision in the prior month, and that's good news. There, a glitch in the matrix, says Michael Downs. Glitz, glitz in the matrix. There you go. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Oh man! It used to be a lot easier. There you go. Just before we went on the air, um, between. Uh, about three hours before we went on the air, Jennifer and I, we hopped into a taxi cab and we drove up to uh, uh, Alexanderplatz uh, here in Berlin. Alexanderplatz was located, um, has always been located where it is, but where it is was known as East Germany. Now, if you've ever watched those Jason Bourne movies, um, you'll find that his, I think it was his second movie, perhaps the second movie he did, was um, a shot partially in Berlin. And uh, there was a scene in Alexanderplatz that was shot. Um, there was a, there's an area of Alexanderplatz where they have a, um, uh, I'll show you if I can. Yeah, here we go. They have in Alexanderplatz, here we go. Uh, you'll see right here, there just where my finger is, as soon as I move that camera a little more, there we go, right there. That little round thing there, it has all of these. I'm trying to zoom in on it here. That thing right there, it has all of these locations listed on it around the world. It's like a round the world clock of some kind. And uh, there was a scene there. He was supposed to meet a gal there, and she was supposed to stand under there. And then he picked her up, and he, he took her on one of these trams, and they couldn't figure out where he went. And... Uh, Next thing you know, he was gone, and then he was back, and and all this kind of stuff. Anyway, um, the uh, the uh, the um, Alexander Plutz itself. This was East Berlin, uh, and it was uh, uh, kept as such until, of course, the wall came down, and now, of course, it's part of West Germany. And uh, we went here today, and I'll tell you, this place is is booming. Um, just like the rest of Berlin, uh, it's like it's like a third of the inner area of Berlin is being ripped up and rebuilt. It is unbelievable the amount of money that is being spent to upgrade Berlin. It is truly stunning. Uh, the cabbies and everyone is just they're they're up in arms about how difficult it is to get around. But the good news is when it's done, if ever it's done, it'll be easier to move around. Um, and the bikes everywhere, and the, uh, the, uh, the the scooters you can rent, these little you know two wheel scooters, the solar powered, uh, battery powered scooters, sc scooters, uh, the electric bikes you can rent. Uh, you can ride electronic electric mopeds. 
Uh, it's incredible. Uh, they're just everywhere and uh, just millions of people on the move. Five million people live here. And I don't know if a million of them use bikes and, and scooters and whatnot. And then uh, a million or two uh, use the subway and the train system. And then uh, half a million use cars. I, it was, it's just this city is a world-class place. And uh, if you've been to Washington, you're in the, uh, the capital of the world. That is the capital city of capital cities. Uh, Berlin would be probably number two. Sorry, Moscow, you're nowhere near what this city is. And uh, Beijing, you want to be like this place, but you'll never be like this place. Uh, Berlin is a phenomenal place, uh, and it is uh, cultural and historical, and things are happening economically here. Really good things. Um, just, just amazing. We went to a store called Primark, which is a discount retailer. Um, their attitude on it is, um, we have clothing in here for super cheap prices. We know that women will come in here in droves. They will buy bags of stuff for super cheap prices. And Jen and I went in today. Jen couldn't wait to go. Just couldn't wait because she's been in this place before. And we, uh, you walk in the door and you grab a, 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 a cloth kind of a bag, a Primark bag that has got to be three feet tall by two feet wide and can probably hold a hundred pieces of clothing if you were to stuff that much into it. <clears throat> we got this bag about a quarter full when I went to the cash register and, and I told Jen, just go outside, find a place to sit, and relax. I'll stand in line and pay. And the lineup for this store, there were uh, about seven cash registers on the go at the same time and um yeah i'll see if i can show this to you here oh my gosh um it is absolutely m complete mayhem um and yet it is organized mayhem i i will i will give you that it is organized mayhem um see if i can make this uh work here somehow yeah here we are this is the lineup that I was in to pay for the merchandise. This young man's in front of me. They went all the way down here and then went around the corner. There had to have been 70 of us in line to pay with about eight cash registers. And um, uh, when I got it all done, um, it came out to 24 euros. Uh, in, in stunning. This is the store here in, in, in full action. Uh, with people just everywhere, and this, this, you've got these, these, you've got these signs up like five euros, two euro eighty, three euros, three and a half euros. So you can buy a pair of pants for four euros. That's like four fifty U.S. You can buy. Uh, Jennifer's buying summer tops for four euros. Uh, she's buying uh, uh, flip flops for two euros, two dollars twenty cents. Um, you can buy belts uh, for two euros each. Uh, you, you can't see prices like that anywhere else. You just nowhere, nowhere. Um, and this place is a zoo for obvious reasons. What I noticed looking around the room, um, two floors, by the way, of this place, the size of a grocery store, it's huge. Uh, a lot of immigrants, a lot of folks from the Mideast, uh, a lot of immigrants from Turkey, um, they're from everywhere. I mean, and there, and why not? Uh, you have a limited budget. You're going to go here. And Jen has no shame whatsoever going right into a Primark and picking up stuff uh, because her attitude is the last uh, three months, two months, and it's no good. I'll throw it away. I, it's so cheap. It's not worth washing. And there you go. Un unbelievable how this all works out. Anyway, there you go. Uh, welcome one and all to the show. We're 30 minutes away from opening up here, I believe. Uh, it's nice to have you here. Um, and uh, let's go here. Uh, what else is happening here? Happening here. Uh, market is all over the place. Is Michael Downs. Uh, welcome, Michael, to the channel. Um, yeah, Jack Dorsey, Mark Zuckerberg, all kind of being van uh, villainized uh, after being the head of a social media tech conglomerate. Would Elon Musk change his opinion or does he head down the same road if he buys Twitter? Good question. 
uh so far down early elon musk is short for elongated musket um austin i'm number thumb number 95 but i'm reluctant to do it <laughs> oh man uh thank you for being here uh let's see i'm incredibly good at picking stocks at nosedive says austin um michael i'm with you brother um i'm in at 580 on so far i ain't buying nothing says michael alex in the uk we call it prime pre-money uh our money for those of us with smaller budget pre-money <laughs> our prime money awesome michael downs or you're a young and should have been around when me and michael were buying in the 15th Duncan, why is the SoFi at 12 to 16 bucks right now? Why, why, why? I don't know. I don't know. Um, buy some Sam Adams stock. At least you would be contributing to the bottom line. Happy Friday, everybody. Michael, uh, way ahead of you. First day of vacation in two years. It's 9 a.m. I'm drinking. The markets are about to open, and I'm wearing shades. Alex, uh, Duncan, the kind gentleman at the Fed wanted to give us the chance to buy SoFi at a discount before it takes off. How about that? Larry Titus, good morning, everybody. Thumbs up number 78. Right on, buddy. Welcome. Mama Babe. Morning, Bagel Gang. A little late to the party. Let's make some money today. Jason, they're built, they're building a bat cave over there. We are all we all know Bruce's last name is Wayne. Uh Duncan, uh bottomless uh, sofi needs to be changed. Alex, morning, Bama Babe. Scott Brewer, thumbs up 104. Thank you very much for being here and uh joining in with the party everybody uh, so far is 724 this morning down 18 cents only down 18 cents that's a nothing burger gamestop 130 135 or 134 probably 134 right now from what i can see here a very uh, frustrating morning so far um we're just trying to get through it all here Doing the best we can with what little we got. Um, here we go. Uh, let's see if I can get this to work for me. 13137 last I see on uh, GameStop. Not a lot of stock changing hands from what I can tell. Our friend's going at it. He's just going at it. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's working. He's working. Oh, my goodness. No, that's, I just keep thinking, how, how do you function? How do you do that job? Yeah. Like how, he must have headphones on, too. But still. But you're still. Just, you're physically being shook. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Jen and I wonder how can he handle that job, you know, day in, day out, hour in, hour out. I, I don't know. Your kidneys have to leave. Yeah, I tell you, he must be making a fortune. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, it is what it is. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, Jennifer Smith is here. How you doing, Jennifer? Uh, finally, Friday, and she's thumbs up 105. Thank you. Uh, Carol is here. Hi, Carol O.B. Good afternoon, Uncle Bruce. 110 thumbs up for you. How's it going, Duncan? Well, so Cindy's here. Welcome, Bruce. Uh, nice to be here. 111 thumbs up. John Anderson is here. Vilbus, it's a good day for GameStop to take a tumble. Good morning, Jen from Duncan. Coyote, Jack Hammer. Jack is back. Good. Jason, please don't let us lose all our gains we had from yesterday. Michael, um, nice, nice. Uh, John. Hi, Jen. Uh, Duncan, can you open the window, Bruce? And uh, Michael, my energy stock's the only thing keeping me alive. Bama Babe, Yuka Bruce seems perky this morning. He's perky. Oh, what can I say? If I open this up, it might be pretty bright. Hang on, let me see. What can we do here? If I open this up for you, see if you get an adjustment. Yeah, it's so, see what I mean? So bright. It's, uh, just too much it's just too much and it's just yeah. what can i say lame duck i i what's it i stands what i can and i can't stands no more beach boy you need headphones the both of you guys that's what you need yeah duncan much nicer there you go it's beautiful it's a gorgeous sunny day we went to alexander plutz jen and i we ended up going to a there's a department store called the galleria it's a six-story tall department store you go to the top floor 
and that's where they have their cafeteria. If you're old enough, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, when, uh, if you were a child in the 60s, uh, maybe the 70s, but definitely in the 60s, you would remember occasionally going with your mom to a department store, maybe downtown, mm -hmm where you could go to the top floor into the cafeteria. I know this was common in Canada. This has been common in Germany forever. And this place, you go up to the top floor, and it's not a North America-style cafeteria where you just go down along the aisles and you point at the chicken fingers or the, the fries or a burger. Oh, no, no, no. This is gourmet, a gourmet buffet uh, you come to the coffee bar and you uh, you have these coffee machines standing in front of you and on the top of the machines they hold the coffee beans and uh, you press the let's say the coffee and milk button put a big cup of underneath there hit the thing and first the hot milk comes pouring out from two nozzles that's about a quarter of the cup or so. And then the two nozzles dispense freshly brewed coffee. Because you can hear the, the beans being ground inside the machine first. Here comes this fresh coffee. You can smell top-notch coffee coming out of a machine at a department store. <laughs> I think that the, the, the coffee with milk came in at about 280, 2 euros 80 so about three american dollars i'd say and refills are available for a buck and a half and i'm talking a big cup of coffee uh delicious um uh, jen or oh, hit the button for a decaf coffee uh which was kind of a nice feature as well then you go over to the salad bar and you just pick away at about 40 different items and you are charged by the weight so it's how many grams it weighs they compensate for the plate, and then they just charge you for the food you put on it. And, and I ended up going to the uh, food section where the the gentleman behind the counter is loading up your plate. And I ordered um, I ordered um, um, <laughs> just got a brain fart um, a brat kartoffel, which is refried potatoes with bacon bits and onions all fried in there and then i had the cabbage roll mm -hmm. and they had these cabbage rolls giant cabbage rolls filled with uh, stuffed with pork oh my god with and then gravy on top of that oh my word why i don't live here i don't know it is just amazing and then jennifer i think she ended up with them a, a variety from the salad bar and uh, she, some fruit and she had a, a boiled egg uh, in a can like you know you oh, crack the boiled egg. oh and it had she got a she got herself a croissant and then she got a little tiny tube of liver sausage from germany oh, and you, you peel the thing open split it in half and it's a very fine liver oh, sausage pate and you spread that onto your uh, croissant oh my god uh we were both just loving lunch uh at, at a department store in berlin ah yes uh, we're we're enjoying it uh it is living up to its expectations um the food quality is just a notch notches above what you find elsewhere uh, and yet this cost us uh, for the coffees and the entire meal it was about 25 us dollars and i'm looking at this going this is not ridiculously priced you can't compare this to a mcdonald's or an in and out burger you you, you can't do that you you can't you, the kind of food here you can't get this food at denny's it's denny's doesn't have this quality this is above that um i'm having a tough time whether it's a, is is it as good as chipotle or even better than chipotle um hard to it's hard to peg when it when you're trying to compare it to an American style restaurant, I would say the quality of this food is the kind of quality you used to get when you used to go to Vegas 20 years ago and you would go to the buffet at Caesars 
or you'd go to the buffet at the Bellagio and you'd have high-end quality food. That is the quality. In a department store in Berlin, the gallery, Galleria. Now, look, to be fair, this Galleria department store is like a Macy's. It's a, it's a higher-end uh, place. Uh, but that's what makes it so special. It's just, it's just what Germans come to expect as quality food in a quality retailer um, each and every day. And there, there you, there you go. They will accept nothing less than that. Um, and I, I give them kudos. Bama babe, where is the yawning and armpit scratching? Give me some time, Bama babe. It's coming. <laughs> Carol adventures the Duncan uh, busy with the kids. We rescued a chicken. She was almost dead. Laugh a lot. Imagine my life now laughing. Oh my goodness. Cindy, maybe it's buyback Friday. I sold options on just about everything. Um, lame duck Popeye flashback. We got 19 minutes to go. Cindy B me too. Cindy B Hudson's had a restaurant on top. It was beautiful. I remember the restaurants on at Eaton stores in Canada. They were on the top. You're so good to Jen standing in line and stuff. Oh, steady mystic, I tell you right now, I had to do that. I saw that lineup and I knew it would be 10, 12 minutes and Jen would be dying. She would be dying. So I just said, head outside and it's sunny, it's gorgeous, it's warm. And I knew there were some steps out there where people sit down and enjoy. She was relaxing, people watching while I took care of business. It was all good. Cindy B, that's great. Bama babe, Austin, my life won't eat at a buffet. In her words, everyone has poo hands. Michael, uh -ha, she's not really wrong. Adventures with Duncan, hold on to that chicken. Might be neat for dinner sometime. Austin, Michael, she uh, draws the line with cruises and buffets. I'm cool with not eating at buffets, but cruises are fun. Michael, uh, about to snatch up a coal company, WHC, getting in low. Check the one year on the stock. By the way, this is not stock advice. I'm an idiot. Don't buy this stock. <laughs> Cindy, Baba, I can't wait till 9.30 to see all those option gains appear. Uh, GameStop right now is 211 lower at 131.84, as best as I can tell you right now. Um, uh, we've got the Dow off 221 here with 18 minutes to go. We're down three, 39 on S&P. We're down 184 on the NASDAQ. Crude is up 77 cents. I think that is accurate, and that's where I think we're at right now now all right um um austin michael uh, dang uh mike uh, i can't let you drink alone i mystic from duncan jason uh bruce say coffee and, and milk did you say coffee and milk it, uh, coffee it's it's milk they they have uh this the button that says cafe mit milk i think it is you can also get the latte you can which is rather foamy you can get just a regular coffee, put your own milk in. They have the espresso. They got like 12 buttons. How do you want it? Just help yourself. It's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, um, MILF costs extra. Oh, yeah, MILF. Okay. Uh, let's say, appreciate the concern, sir. I want that button. MILF, new ticker code. Um, Michael, she saw the news when the ship broke down and people were, you know, overing the edge of the rail since you would never go. Okay, YOLO on MILF. Um, they call that glass above the buffet a sneeze guard. How appetizing. Uh, can't blame her, says Michael. All right. Um, if Bruce has been eating cabbage, we now know where that noise really is. What is that noise really? I mean, come on. Uh, I'll give you a thousand bucks to lick the sneeze guard. Um, Dunk and Michael, what's up? <laughs> Oh, the time to find out. Oz, I can't imagine sitting a level three out on the balcony having a cup of coffee and down comes someone's digested dinner from the night before. Um, uh, Cindy B, it sure would make for a nice week, wouldn't it, though? Oh, ha. Huh. I, I love going on cruises um, as well. Jen and I have enjoyed a number of cruises over the years. Just won't be doing one right now with current conditions, and I don't want to wear a mask on a cruise ship and all that sort of stuff. But... Um, yeah, you know, cruise can be very relaxing, enjoyable, depending on what cruise line you go on. Um, it's all up to you how much money you want to spend. I had salad for dinner, says Kiwi, specifically fruit salad, actually just grapes, fermented grapes, liquefied wine. I got drunk. I'm bombed out of my mind. I have no idea what my – is my name Kiwi? Um, yeah, what show am I watching? Who is this? Why are you all in my living room? <clears throat> What's going on here? I have no idea. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh so much fun in the <coughs> in the dungeon 
We're uh, we're off 222. It would look like on the Dow Jones. Waiting to see what's going to happen here. Uh, mm, I don't know. We'll find out how this market wants to react. Uh, it was up um, up until two hours ago. We were positive, and then the uh, market started to go red, and that's the bottom line. We are we are in the red right now. Uh, down 204 on the Dow. It looks like we turned the corner. Um, I don't know what time that is. Somewhere around. I don't know what time that is. I, I'm trying to look. I'm looking at a chart from overnight. So bear with me, folks. Uh, we're in the red here. That's no question about it. And we're staying in the red for the moment on these markets. And that's it. Okay. Um, on our favorites with now 14 minutes to go. On some of the favorites we like to follow the most, uh, we're looking at Rocket Lab down nine cents to 483, SoFi down 20 at 722, GameStop off 272 to 131.28. We got AMC down 28 cents, Matterport down 18 cents to 563, 23 and me off six to 290, Spire is off four cents to 170 a share, ATIP down two cents to two bucks. Smart rent down 19 cents to 585. A sixth era, no trades yet. Um, Apple down 380 to 147.41. Goldman down 205 to 322. Cisco off 18 cents to 45.61. Tesla down 38 dollars, 736. Arc Innovations down a dollar 24 to 44.39. Microsoft up three, down 376 to 270 82. Bed Bath Beyond down 13 cents to $8.30. We got Pfizer off 22 cents to $52.46. Hewlett Packard down 54 cents to $39.35. Poor Carvana down 116 to $28.92. And uh, Twitter down 37, uh, up 37 cents to $40.28. That's it. Um, yeah, there's the latest on this market going into our opening and we're showing a game stop that 130 130 131.25 down about 270 275 a share on 25,000 volume not a lot i uh, i don't know if we're even going to hold 130 for very long i really wonder if we're going to go under 130 very quickly here uh it is friday it's option expiry day for sure um the question now is, um, you know, what are we what are we going to see here? Uh, are we going to get um, some serious sell-offs, or are these markets going to hold their own? Uh, you know, we'll find out uh, soon enough just what it's all about. Um, Austin says, I went on a cruise when I was 10 with the family. I thought it was walking up to the top of the slide line. Nope, it was the topless deck. I had to ask my parents why the grandmas were naked the uh, Austin, uh, you know, you, you disturb me. Uh, you, you, you talk about your mother-in-law trying to give you the tongue, and you talk about, you know, right, auntie. no, his his, his mother-in-law. I think it is. I think so, or was it your grandma? Mm -hmm. And you're topless, looking at grandmas up there. What, what's the deal, man? Uh, I'm very confused in berlin is my motto here uh google down 27 bucks says duncan uh duncan per mark um uh mike uh, michael uh, but did th but did they have any mustaches uh oh uh, jason if i ever seen someone sneeze on an actual sneeze guard i think that might just do it for me on buffets never again austin um didn't hang around to confirm says austin <laughs> NASDAQ and S&P just hit five-day highs. Uh, Michael, um, uh, my LEGN making moves. Uh, Duncan, roll up, Austin. Um, oh, my God, says uh, Duncan. Cody, Austin has had a traumatic life. I think you're right, Olivia, laughing on that. Harry Lips, says Duncan. Oh, no, uh, confused in Berlin, says Guy <laughs> Alex, a mustache was all they were wearing. That's all, says Alex. Bama, babe, here comes the mustache jokes. <laughs> I, I just don't know. I don't know. I Austin's Austin's life has been traumatic. 
And I think Austin's wife should take it easy on him. Uh, I, I think she should just, you know, lay low on this guy. He's been through enough already. Um, I don't know. Um, uh, it has been, it has been, he says, Austin, it has been my life experience that the older a woman gets, the more bold they become. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, I, yeah, I get. Um, yeah, I just can't. I can't comment. I, I, <laughs> He's trying to get you in trouble. I best to just not say anything at the moment. Uh, Gaiotti, Austin's face when he found the upper deck. Uh, <laughs> trench ducking. Nair. Oh, Michael, hairy lips. Whose aunt had hairy lips? That was so funny a couple of months ago. Bama, babe, I am feeling a mustache coming. Are we back? I hope we're back. We've been uh, we've been frozen out here, uh, waiting to see if we can come back. Uh, here we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're back. We're back. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Um, yeah, it's okay, Austin. We've all been there. Oh, oh Bruce has gone direct. Stark sniper, Austin. This is your fault. Uh, this is your fault um oh my gosh zero hours upon us uh he's been taken away in east germany he's been taken to east germany uh yep he, we we just beat the internet congrats everybody <laughs> he's back i'm back uh topless deck sounds better uh austin we are back he's back gotta live we gotta love hotel hotel wi-fi you gotta love it yeah uh, good morning, Uncle Brucey. Welcome all back to the show here. Uh, coming into the opening uh, shortly. Uh, six minutes to go. Uh, <laughs> we're down 222, I guess, on the Dow. 244. I'm not sure which device to believe right now. I'm having trouble figuring this out. Uh, I think my, my uh, big-ass iPad is having trouble figuring out what it's supposed to be doing here. Um, we have all 30 stocks in the Dow 30 showing negative right at the moment. So we're going to start with a red opening here. Um, 
and I, I tell you, my my biggest iPad is just glitching all over the place. Glitch, glitch, glitch. It's just not not do, not doing well. Um, Amazon stock split takes effect Monday, June sixth. Does that anyone else have these five shares at least? Lame duck wants to know. Duncan, bottomless deck number one. Austin, bottomless deck. <laughs> uh, oh, geez. Uh, what can I say? Um, it is what it is. I will tell you that. It is what it is. <laughs> All right. Five minutes to go, and we begin to trade. Um, let's see if I can get my uh, some of my features to pop back up here again. We had our thing shut down. Our, our, our guy, our, you know, jackhammer operator seems to be taking a break. I don't know. Jen says, don't mention his name. You'll jinx it. <laughs> 130.65 on uh, GameStop down 335 right now. SoFi down 28. Uh, Rocket Lab down 9. AMC down 38. Matterport off 17 cents. 23Me down uh, 6. Spire down 4. ATI down 2. Smart Rent down 19. Um, Apple down $4. Goldman down $4. Cisco off 33 cents. Tesla down 41 bucks. Microsoft up off four bucks. Pfizer down 40. HP down 54 cents. So it's a negative opening. Let's not kid ourselves. There he's back. Yay. He didn't go to sleep after all. He's here. <laughs> Jen's laughing. She's hearing him now. Jen has on headphones, so she kind of hears it now. Uh, yeah. No, I still get to hear it. It's great. <laughs> Joe, Olivia, I'm glad. I think we're back. Oh my gosh. I think we're back up again. What can I say? <laughs> mm, he did it again. Banned in Germany. <laughs> Stranger things. What the dude hit the internet online? At what point does the hammering just become white noise? Well, here we go. Episode four was amazing. Anyone else lose it? <laughs> uh, who said that Europe had better internet than the
<laughs> DA True to Germany called. They want Bruce's slogan to change to stock markets in plain German. <laughs> MC Hammer time. That's it. Can't stop this. Everyone's putting up the knee emojis. You can't stop this market with the knee That's emojis. <laughs> there we go. The knee emojis are going up right here. You can't stop us with the knee emojis. You can't. You can't, can't get in the way of it. Not a chance. Try as you might. Can't stop it. He's alive. He's alive, says Nick. Uh, from now on, Alex says, uh, Bruce is only covering the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Sorry, folks. <laughs> neat, 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 neat. We're out there, people. We're out there. GameStop, 126.89, down 7.11. Right now, the Dow's off 249 points. Oh, man. You should invest in an internet card of some sort. That way, you don't have to rely on hotel internet. Jason, it's late Friday afternoon there, which means everyone's checking in for the weekend and exhausting their bandwidth. Uh, sell my house in Upper Marlboro. Neat, neat, neat. Oh, gosh. Sp Asp Asp Aspire's up a penny. Um, there's something. GameStop down 7 bucks to 127 127 I think that's the low of the day on, on, uh, on, uh, on GameStop, if I'm not mistaken. I, I would be able to tell you a lot faster if my... If my uh, super big, big ass iPad were working properly, but it, it's not behaving today as well as I'd like it to. Here you go, Jen. Your phone is charged up. There. Oh, my phone. Your phone's all charged up. Okay, dear. Um, where are we at now? We're down two forty three on the Dow at this moment in time, and. Um, Let's see what we have here. We've got, oh, my God, this iPad is so twitchy. 126.52 was the low I saw now on uh, GameStop. 126.20 is the low trade I have so far seen come through. Uh, 127.57 right here at down 6.50 or so a piece at the moment. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know for how long uh, we might be back. 
Use your phone as a hotspot, says Cindy B. Uh, no, my gains, my precious gains are deteriorating. Oh, geez, I said. Oh, yeah, we're still wondering if we're back. Uh, 129.46 down 454 on GameStop right now. 23 me down 15. Sixtero down a penny. Rocket Lab down four and a half. Uh, ATIP down three cents. AMC off 56. GameStop 128.87 now. Spire up a half a penny. Uh, SoFi down 33 to 709. Smart Rent down seven to 596. Matterport. 561 down 20 cents. We're down 200 on the Dow. Jason is here. Are we back? Uh, for how long? I don't know. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. We're hoping for the best. Uh, did you try turning it back on or back off again today? It's not our system. It's the hotel. And I can tell you, when he stops drilling, everything goes off. When he starts going, everything comes back on. It's incredible. It is just incredible. Uh, yeah, we don't know what to make of it. It is goofier than hell. <laughs> GameStop 129.36 down.
Here we are again. I don't know if we're going to make it very long here. Uh, we're cutting in and out every minute. Uh, going to say I'm going to